Hey everybody, 8 Josh here, and today I'm going to show you how you can use Reshade with Planet Zoo to add some extra visual enhancements to the game. I did a similar guide for Planet Coaster, so I'm going to link that video up in the corner. Now we all know the game is already gorgeous, but if you're like me and you like to play around and tinker with the visuals, then this guide will show you how to install and use Reshade. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to go to reshade.me and then when you get here, you're just going to scroll all the way down, click the download reshade button. Obviously, you're going to save it. Once you have the file saved to wherever you save your files, you're just going to double click on it to start installing it. Then you're going to get the option to select the game or application to manage with reshade. So go ahead and click that button. Now, you'll probably have a big long list here, especially if you're like me and have lots of games installed. But obviously, in this case, you're going to want to select Planet Zoo. So find Planet Zoo in the list and click Use Selected Application. Now when you get to this prompt here, you're going to go ahead and click on Direct 3D, even though it's already checked for you. Uh, it's not super obvious what you're supposed to do. There's no like next button. So just click on there. When you get this here, just click OK. This installs all of the different shaders. And then there you can see it is successful. And before you actually launch Planet Zoo, you're going to want to make sure you go ahead and just close this out. Now when you boot up Planet Zoo, you'll know your installation was successful because you'll have this message up here. Right, now that you're, you're in your game and you want to start messing around with Reshade, as you can see it says Reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial. So that brings up Reshade itself. Now, I've already gone through the tutorial, but if you've never used it before, definitely recommend clicking through it just to kind of get a feel for how everything goes. So starting off, you'll see a big long list here of all the shaders that you can mess around with. And there's really a lot that you can dive into and tweak and mess around with. So definitely recommend, you know, just, just diving in and clicking into each one. Like for instance, Tint. You can click that and you can instantly see on the screen it changes the visuals of the game. And then down here you can actually fine tune each shader to make it however you want. You can make it like look like an old school CRT if you'd like. You can add some HDR if you'd like and fine tune all of those settings. And I created my own preset which is just called 8-Bit Josh Reshade, which will actually, I will have that down in the description if you wish to use it in your game and check it out, maybe fine tune it to your liking. But this is what I created and I feel like it gives it, I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a realism. If you click uh, active to the top here, this will move all of your active shaders to the very top. So it's a lot easier to kind of mess around with and just, you know, be able to quickly see what you have uh, used at the moment. I use this tint shader and I did it because I kind of wanted to uh, remove some of the like reds out of the game to make it look a little bit more natural so it's a little bit more blue than it normally is. And so you can actually go down here and really fine tune that if you want, which is what I did. I kind of messed around with it until I found sort of a look that I liked. You know, it looks a little bit more like natural lighting to me. Probably the one that makes the biggest difference in the visuals is this PPFX SSDO shader. So you can see screen space, directional occlusion, ambient occlusion, uh, simulates diffuse shadows, self-shadowing and geometry, indirect lighting, brightness, objects that are exposed to a certain light source. You may specify in the parameters below. So I, I, I don't know, just personally, I feel like it just gave it a little bit more of a natural look. Like I said, I like that it, it kind of took some of the red out of the game and added a little bit more blue. Another fun one that's fun to play around with. So click home again and then, oh, one quick thing. If you click the button and it kind of changes the camera angle on you, just hit escape, go back to the view you want, hit home again and it won't change your uh, view. But another fun one to play around with, if you wanna make like fun screenshots, is go down here to Tilt Shift. And Tilt Shift is fun to play with because it kind of makes everything look like a model by basically 
focusing on the middle and then blurring the edges. And actually, I'm going to adjust it here real quick. I'm going to make the blur a little bit smaller. So then the fun thing is if you kind of focus on like a building a little bit, it almost makes it look like a model, especially if you pause the game. So or if you're taking a screenshot and you just look at it like this, it's like it almost looks like a little miniature model. So again, that's just another fun thing you can do with it. But that's pretty much I mean, that pretty much does it for uh, this guide. It's super easy to install and it's super easy to use. It's really just a matter of diving in into all of the different shaders and messing around with it, finding the ones that you like that works best for you, uh, maybe just coming up with like really crazy visuals for the game. And yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much it. So, so let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Are you uh, interested in adding reshade to your game, messing around with it? And, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I am 8 Josh, and thanks for watching. See ya.